yes good morning everyone my name is karan and i welcome you to c set classes by shubhraran so i think two classes has been delivered already right those two classes were from aptitude so today i'll start with the reasoning part it is equally important it's not like that aptitude is only the important thing it is equally important because uh, in c set like you can see with the every passing year the difficulty level is rising so you don't know from which chapter or from which topic or from which part of this aptitude uh, this part of the c set the question can be easier right it might possible that you can get easy questions in case of aptitude might possible you get easy question in case of reasoning so if i talk about difficulty level if i compare aptitude reasoning and rcs so in that case reasoning is the easiest part but at the same time it can it can be very difficult as well because if you talk about shortcuts in reasoning so let me tell you frankly there are hardly any reasoning is all about practice okay so before starting the topic of the day i have uh, written something on the board right so i'm talking about this duration that was from the year 1939 to year 1945 is this duration historically important like what was happened it was the duration of world war 2 okay great and the this world war 2 there were two main opponents one was allies another one were axis right okay now good so anybody in the class who knows what this device is yeah it's it's a kind of typewriter right nice but this was the device that was used extensively by the axis or specially by the nazi armies the name of this device is enigma machines used extensively by nazis right now what they used to do they generally pass their secret information right in a scripted manner and they take help of this device the beauty of this device was you can change the setting of this device on daily basis so it becomes very difficult like what happened during the world war us army intercepted some signals that was developed or that was framed by nazi armies to pass their secret intelligence information but that those us army people were not able to decode them right and what happened and there comes there was a scientist by the name of uh, mary uh, let me uh, tell you uh, yeah marian it was a polish scientist this was the first lady who was able to do some code breaking work on this machine right this machine was very popular before the world war 2 uh, but it was enhanced and used in a more superlative mo uh, manner in during the world war 2 and in this way right now there were one more scientist by the name of alan turing right he worked upon those method that has been developed by that polish scientist and then they were able to break down those nazi's code and in this way people says that because of this code breaking the duration of world war get reduced right so i think right you can see i am talking about coding 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 like in every single statement that i said till now so the topic of the day is coding and decoding it is important historically if you talk about kings and queens and their kingdom they generally pass all their secret information in terms of codes okay now if we talk about c set there were no question from coding and decoding right from 2011 till 2015 i haven't seen any 
but right after 2015 if you talk about 2016 till 2022 there is at least one question from this chapter every year okay so let's start the topic of the day the name is coding and decoding as you know okay so coding and decoding is nothing but it's a methodology to encrypt an information and to decrypt it right <clears throat> if I like as a matter of fact there is no classification there is no type I cannot say there are certain type of problem in this chapter no but through the analysis I have solved all your problems of this at through the analysis I have divided this chapter into five major types right so let us discuss these types one at a time lots of the types are very easy and wherever important and wherever is necessary I will give you some shortcut as well hmm? how to process the information how to solve these question under the real time situation okay there is no need to write it down I will provide this PPT to you do not worry so just write down the like if you want to just solve the questions on your rough sheets I will provide you this PPT no issue okay so types order based direct replacement alphabetical rank based substitution and message deciphering and what what are their meaning so let us start with the very first this is type 1 and this is order under it we will discuss those problem in which a coded word has been formed with the help of just the reassembling reordering of the letters of the original word okay now so i want you to try this question because the question is very easy just try to solve this question read it and try to solve i d k s yes it is the right answer now so there are a lot of types i told you five types so the very first thing that should come to your mind is how to find out whether this question belongs to type 1 only how to differentiate it right so how to differentiate these kind of problems from the rest type for that i have given you two things one of which is number of letters in the original word and the coded word are same first point this has to be there this is the necessary condition for type 1 second point is every letter of original word will be present in the coded word okay although you have solved it but still i want to discuss this question again see what is the meaning of this line in a certain code language give give has been written as i g e v and over there is one more word over o v e r over has been written as bool v o uh, e. Now, give is the original word, right? And I G E V is the coded word. Similarly, over is the original word and B O R E is the coded word. Now, the first thing number of letters in the original word and coded words are same. Yes. How many letters are there in give? Four letters. So, in its code, again, how many letters are there? Four. Same is the situation for over as well next thing every letter of the original word is present in the coded word right see in original word g is present only once similarly in its code g is present only once right i is present only once again i is present only once and so does all the other letters right if these two conditions met so definitely that question is from type 1 right afterwards what you can see the places of i and g has been interchanged with each other places of b and e has been interchanged with each other then places of this o and v has been interchanged e and r is interchanged right so this is the pattern now we will apply the same pattern to disk d i s k so i and d will interchange their places and similarly 
K and S will interchange their places. And do you know? This is what that Enigma machine do. It just change the orders of the letters, right? So this was the type that was used by the Nazist. If you talk about Nazi army, so they were using this kind of patterns, this kind of type. Okay. So I hope the part is clear to everyone. I don't think there is any problem in it. The easiest one. This is the easiest one. Can I erase it? Okay. Now, let's talk about the next. Try to handle this one now. Yeah. Again, in this case, it's a it's a first of all try to find out whether this question belongs to type one or not. Right? In the beginning, it might possible that you are going to take some time, but with the passage of time, you can just analyze the problem and you can say that this problem belongs to type number one. How to determine that? See, original word is statement, coded word is this. I can see each, how many letters are there in original word? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, how many letters are there in the code? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The first condition met. Second condition I can see each letter of the code, each letter of the original word is present in this code also. So it means there is a change in order only, nothing else. Okay. So statement S T A T E M E N T has been coded as T N E M E. T A T. Now, in this type, it is not important that only two letters will get interchanged. It might possible that whole of the letters, whole of the word has been inverted. It might possible that up only upper half is inverted, lower half is as it is. It might possible that lower half is inverted, upper half is as it is. Any kind of situation is possible. Right, any kind of situation is possible. So, in this case, if you observe carefully, you are going to get that this whole of the letter has been inverted. Right, whole of the letter has been inverted. Right, so if you want to code political, then you, your answer should start with L. Then next letter should be A, then C, then I then T, then I again, then L, then O and it ends with P. So, only option that satisfying this condition is option A. Right? I hope this part is clear to everyone. Okay? So, the most important thing is how to determine whether this question belongs to type 1. Second thing to keep in our mind is that interchanging can be between two letters only. Whole of the word can get interchanged. And it might possible that only upper half is interchanged, lower half is kept as it is. Might possible. Okay. Keep this thing in your mind and let. Uh, can I raise it now? I hope this point is clear to everyone. Okay. So if this is clear, let's solve a question that was there in your exam. Yeah, this one. B. Okay. Agreed, everyone. Is there anybody getting any answer other than B? Everyone agreed with B? Okay. Now listen. The part the part that I was selling you is happening over here also. In the first question, only only two two letters were getting interchanged. In the next question, entire word get interchanged. Now in this case, if you pay attention to these problems, so first is system S by S T. E M. It has been this is the original word and it has been coded as S Y S M E T. Now, examiner has given you two original word, two codes in this case for a purpose. Remember it for a purpose because. 
if you pay attention to this first original word and first code only so after analyzing it you can end up with two patterns the first pattern is it might possible this s has kept as it is this y has kept as it is this s has kept as it is and only lower half has been interchanged with each other might possible right this could be one of the pattern right but examiner has given you two words and the presence of two word is important he wants to convey some meaning to you right okay so let's write down two words first all the first original word is s by s m e t and the other one is oh, okay its code is s y s t e m and there is one more original word which one is n e a r e r and its code is a e n r e r now in this problem it's not like that we have to find out the pattern that we like no in these problems we have to find out the pattern of the examiner not our pattern remember this thing it might possible sometime you end up with a pattern and that pattern is justifying all the given condition it might possible but that is not the case we have to find out the pattern of the examiner keep this funda in your mind okay so if there is any pa pattern over here then that same pattern should be replicated over here as well right and if you observe them carefully then you're going to say see these letters these letters these letters upper half has been interchanged with each other okay and lower half has been interchanged with each other okay so same is the funda over here as well that any problem okay now we can apply the same funda to fraction as well f r a c t i o n now upper half right and then the lower half f r a c t sorry this c this f and this so answer should start from c then a then r then f right and in the lower half and then o then i and then t done okay so answer over here should be option number a any problem is this oh sorry C A R F N O I T C A R F N O I T yeah option D is the right choice clear okay can I read it now right so the funda that we have to keep in our mind is we have to find out the pattern what examiner is using okay can I read it yes now this is again the similar problem but we have discussed all the different variation that can come under type 1 so please try this problem now and tell me the answer what do you think should be the answer no the answer is d i think mine was d might pass d na c listen in this case what is happening the code is given first and then there is the original word so intimate is the original word and its code is given first okay so now if we pay attention if we analyze it i can see this question is justifying all the condition of type 1 right so now i told you it might possible only two two letters will get interchanged it might possible that 
entire word has been interchanged and it might possible that half of the letter. So, if you divide this question, this letter into two halves, then you will get, you can see the upper, the letters of upper half has been interchanged among themselves and the letters of the lower half has been interchanged among themselves. And if you apply the same pattern on the question given, then you are going to get this D as your answer. Right? This is the code given. Right? Try to understand. This is the code given. You have to find out the original word. Got it? Any problem, guys? Okay. Now, uh, this is again the simplest way. This is a very simplest way actually, simplest type. Okay. The next one, this is the type number 2. I have seen few questions of this type in your exam as well. This is your type number 2, slightly different and comparatively easier to type 1, comparatively easier. Okay. So, before paying attention to this, just see. Uh, the name of this type is direct replacement. Try to solve this question. Pay attention to this question and try to resolve it. Uh, let me see. It is question number. No, mine is different. What everyone else is getting? The reasoning is more about practicing. So, practice all the stuff in the classes itself. Right. Okay. I hope everyone has attempted it. Let, let me discuss it now. So, this is your type 2. Now, how to differentiate this type from the type number 1? If you pay attention to first condition, I have said number of letters in the original word and the coded words are same. This condition, the first condition of this type and the first condition of the previous type is same. Clear? Now, second, every letter of the original word will not be present in the coded word. So, this is the difference, right. In the previous case, every letter of the original word was present in the coded word, but over here, it will not be a case. Got it? Now, if you pay attention to these letters, so I can see in sheep, I can see in sheep, letter E comes twice. And if you pay attention to its code, then its code I can see the letter X present twice. It means E has been replaced with. Now, let us justify this thing with the next given situation. In the next given situation, you can see B8 is present. So, B8 is the original uh, word and its code is H -F, uh, HPXTN. Now, in this case, E is the third letter. In this case, X is the third letter. So, obviously, E has been replaced with X. So, it means in this question, we are using direct coding, direct replacement. Meaningly, X has been replaced with G, you can see. Right? H has been replaced with A. X, E has been replaced with X. P, P has been replaced with R. And in the, in the same way, I can say B has been replaced with H, L with P, then A with T and T with N. We will apply this direct replacement on the given problem which is slate, S, L, A, T, E. So, S has been replaced with G. So, my answer should start from G. Okay. Option D cannot stand a chance. Okay. Now, L. L has been replaced with P. So, my second letter of the answer should be P. Now, A. A has been replaced with T. Right? 
तो जी पी टी इज प्रेजेंट ऑप्शन सी डज नॉट स्टैंड अ चांस नाउ टी हैज बीन रिप्लेस विद एन सो ऑब्वियसली ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट चॉइस राइट आई होप यू गॉट द फंडा दिस इज द इजिएस्ट टाइप द थिंग दैट यू कैन डू इन द एग्जामिनेशन हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट first type and second type and this is the process that you have to apply in every problem that appears in the exam first of all check whether that question belongs to type 1 then check whether that question belongs to type 2 this is the right process actually otherwise you may you can get stuck somewhere in between okay can i erase it now please try this again an easiest thing to do so in direct replacement it is not that letters will be interchanged uh, replaced with letters only they can be re replaced with numbers they can be replaced with symbols right so i think everyone has got it let me see what is the answer that i have got option d yeah it is option d okay can we move forward now yeah this is the question that was there in your exam Now, first of all, you have to find which one, D or B. B. Okay, I'll check it. Mm. Let's talk about this problem. C. First of all, I can see total letters in the original world are six. Total digits are six. Second thing. not every letter of original word is present in the code so obviously this is not type 1 this has to do something with type 2 okay so roman ramon r a m o n then 1 2 3 3 4 5 next next word is dinesh d i n e s h And six, seven, five, eight, four, nine. Okay. So once you have, once this question has justified the given condition of direct replacement, it is not important that this question belongs to type two. No. After that, you have to find out that link. So you can see, in this, n has been replaced with five. and if you pay attention to second case also again over here n is replaced with 5 now we are 100% sure this question belongs to second type which is direct replacement am i clear now i can directly replace r is r can be replaced with 1 a can be replaced with 2 m with 3 o with 4 d with 6 and if you apply the same pattern to comma your answer going to be option b yes now listen this might happen i'll discuss a question over 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 here it might happen now if four will be present then it can be like o can be replaced with four and s can be replaced with four right we have to pay attention to this word first then this we don't have to do the process in a reverse manner not first thing is this clear to everyone 
so it's not like now listen if something like examiner is interested in the uh, code of rather than hamam suppose examiner wants the code of let's say more for this very problem examiner wants the code for more then you can replace m directly with 3 for o you can use 4 again right for r you can use 1 again and for e you can use 8 again done this is the forward wise keep one thing in your mind you have to move from code in word to the original word now suppose in your option there was a situation there was a situation like the code of mo uh, there was a situation give me a second it was like 9 4 3 2 3 2 3 and it was 9 2 2 and 4 again two words two four is present two times and suppose there was a situation now let's say these two options were not present and these two options uh, now you got stuck between which one ha you have to choose either option a or you or option b because four can be code for o and four can be the code for s as well four can be code for the two letters right so it might possible that four the original word over here contains o or original word over here contains s right it might possible in such a case, in such a case, you cannot answer with 100% surety. In such a case, examiner will give you option like data in, in uh, sufficient or option like none of these. Yeah, option like either A or B is possible. These option has to be present. Otherwise, in such a case, we cannot answer. Is this clear to everyone? Okay. Now, yeah, the next before solving problems on the next type, it is important to remember positions of some letter, right? So, I request you to remember the positions of the letter in the forward wise manner as well as in the backward wise manner. If you feel like you cannot remember them, if you feel like you cannot remember them, then just write, write letters and their ranking like this manner in your rough sheet. At least do this thing. It is very important. I will tell you. Right. Either you can remember positions or you can, what you can do? You can write all the letters and their ranks like this. Keep, remember one thing. Just write N below M, O below L, K below P, sorry, P below K, Q and J like this. Done? Okay. Now, this is the case when you don't want to remember anything. Like, if you can remember one or two things, right? First one out of which is E J O T. In this, remember this word, this word E J O T sounds like the name of a girl, E J O T. In this word, but every letter is at a distance of 5 from each other, right? So, if you rank alphabetically, all the letters alphabetically, then E comes at the 5th position, you can see. J comes at the 10th position, you can see, right? Similarly, Y comes at 25th position, right? Okay, next. The second, along with this, second letter that you can remember is Syphilorix. It sounds like the name of a medicine. Right. In this letter, what happens? Every letter is at a distance of 3 from each other. Right. Tipilorex and EJT, with the help of these two letters, we can recall position of any letter in the English alphabet pretty easily. For example, if you want to talk about position of T, it is 20th. So, EJT, every letter is at a distance of 5. So, position of T is 20. Right. This is the one way. Another one is I have developed some more shortcuts, right? Can I erase it now? Now, the other shortcuts, see, 
आई डोंट थिंक यू नीड एनी शॉर्टकट टू रिमेंबर पोजिशनिंग ऑफ और रैंकिंग ऑफ फर्स्ट फाइव लेटर इन अ फॉरवर्ड वाइज मैनर राइट एनी वन एट एनी टाइम अंडर एनी टाइम प्रेशर कैन रिकॉल दैट पोजिशनिंग रैंक ऑफ ए इज वन रैंक ऑफ बी इज टू सी डी ई एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस राइट नाउ द लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एफ हाउ टू रिमेंबर इट्स पोजिशन सी From F, we can develop a word fix, and this word rhymes with fix. F fix six, right? Okay. Now, listen. Just try to remember how our teacher in our childhood has told us to write G. See how they have told us to write G. Please pay attention. Isn't it like this? Huh? You can see in that case at the base of G, the letter, the number seven is present. So the position of G or rank of G, if you mark them alphabetically, is seven. Clear? Okay. Now, so let's talk about H. Right? If I join its two. Upper ends and two lower ends. I'll get eight. Positioning of H is eight. I'll, I'll tell you this is very important, guys. And most difficult problem that comes under the category of coding and decoding is from this side. So, if you can remember this position, you can break down the codes easily. It, it works in the similar manner. For example, you have memorized tables from one till ten. What was the need? Because if you have memorized those tables with the help of those, you can do the difficult calculation easily. So same is the purpose of remembering the positions over here. Okay. Now, so in this way, if you I now H and I are quite near to each other, if you want to develop any, you can. Otherwise, you can leave this I A J. Now let's talk about K. The first thing, this K. Is the first letter of my name, so I have remembered it as it is. Okay, Karan, and I have remembered it. Otherwise, is otherwise. See, I I I appreciate, or I'm a big big fan of Mr. Kalam. Do you know, Mr. Kalam was eleventh president of India. Mr. Kalam, K for Kalam, and Kalam was 11th president of India. So, do that. You can memorize this thing. Now, Kalam, K L M, Kalam, K L M, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, L for 12, M for 13. K, K from K, Mr. Kalam, 11th president. Then there comes L in his name. Then there comes M in his name. Uh, M in his name. So K is eleven. L is twelve. M is thirteen. Kalam, right? Is this clear to everyone? Okay. Now let's talk about N. I hope you all remember Cha Cha Nehru. We all celebrate Children's Day, huh? And it comes on. Fourteenth of November, na? Okay. The next two are naughty one. Not next two. Okay. Yeah. Next two are naughty one. Uh, you can see. If you want to remember something for a longer period of time, just associate that thing with the weirdest thing that you have heard. You will remember that thing for the longer time. See. Let's talk about this P and sixteen. I don't know in my childhood. I like I I heard a song. That song was Sola Sal Ki Pehli Umar Ko Salam. A Pyar Teri Pehli Umar Ko Salam. Sola and Pyar. So I was treated like this. P for sixteen. Sola Sal Ki Pehli Umar Ko Salam. A Pyar Teri Pehli Umar Ko Salam. And that I don't know how, but that song stuck in my mind. Right? Okay. Now. I hope in the similar manner you can engage these letters. I have just given you a hint. Okay. Now nowadays T20 cricket is very famous. 
टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट इज वेरी फेमस ओके ना आई एम लिविंग फ्यू वर्ड बट मोस्ट ऑफ दी वर्ड एंड देर पोजिशन आई कैन रिमेंबर विद इन फाइव मिनट इफ यू कीप इफ यू पे अटेंशन टू दी कोड और इफ यू पे अटेंशन टू दी ट्रिक्स दैट आई एम टेलिंग यू ओके ना ले सर सी डब्ल्यू W is similar to three. One three is C. One three is present in the position of C. Next three is M thirteen. So obviously next one should be twenty three. Got it? C first three is for C. I don't think I need to remember its position. C is very easy. Next three was next three will come in thirteen. Thirteen is the positioning of M. After that, next three is twenty-three. So W is twenty-three. Huh? Okay. I hope this is clear to everyone. Any doubt over here? No. Okay. There is one more not here. One. Want to hear? Okay. C Q and seventeen. Right. C. लड़का लड़की एक साथ क्यू सो सी आई टोल्ड यू जस्ट रेप्लीकेट दिस थिंग इन ऑल अदर लेक्चर एज वेल इन ऑल अदर टॉपिक्स एज वेल यू विल रिमेंबर थिंग्स फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम राइट ट्राई टू रिलेट थिंग विद द वेडस्ट थिंग दैट यू नो राइट कीप दोज वेडस्ट थिंग टू योर सेल्फ there is no need to be outspoken about them keep those to yourself only right so now why now this, this is the like i have told you what you can do if you don't want to learn them just write it like this if you can remember something then revise these two words and then if you can remember some more words then go like this right okay now the positioning of the letters in the forward wise manner and the and the and in the backward wise manner both are important so we have discussed forward wise let's talk about backward wise what do i mean like what do i what i want to say through backward wise manner see yes that is wonderful i told you that is your choice actually right if you cannot remember just write it like this 1 2 3 the way i told you just write a below z it is important i will tell you the importance of it but it is important okay now backward wise see backward wise what i want to say through backward wise backward wise z is ranked 1 y is ranked 2 x is ranked 3 w is ranked 4 b is ranked 4 5 and in this way we will reach 26 and a is 26 now is that is there any possibility is there any letter which can be ranked the 27 over here is there any letter that you can rank 27 yes just repeat this thing no repeat no not a is the right answer but just repeat is this this thing after a next letter is z so z is 26 so a sorry a is 26 so z can be 27 then y can be 28 and this goes on so this cycle repeats itself right got it same is the case for forward wise manner also same is the case for forward wise manner also see over here after now after a if you want to go negative so this z is Zero. This z is this is minus one. This is minus two. You can go backward as well, right? And after z, if you want to go forward wise, so after z, twenty six, then a is twenty seven, b is twenty eight, and this goes on. Repeat this process for as many time as you want to. Now, okay. After, I hope this is clear. Now, sir. we have memorized the position of all the letters in a forward wise manner do i have to do i have to keep some more tricks in my mind to remember their uh, backward wise positions 
is there any need actually there is no need let me tell you why so there is a reason see if you pay attention to these columns and these pairs 26 and 1 is 27 right 25 and 2 is 27 24 and 3 is 27 now you you know you know the forward wise position of t was 20 you know this thing we remember this now how to find out with the fraction of second its backward wise position for its backward wise position what you can do just subtract 20 from 27 because sum is 27 just subtract it you will get the backward wise position of t 7 right we have memorized the forward wise position forward wise t was 20 then backward wise for backward wise position of t just subtract 20 from 27 you will get the answer for example i know forward wise m is 30 forward wise m is 13 i want to find out its backward wise position so what i will do i will subtract 13 from 27 which one which is 40 pick out any letter see let's talk about f forward wise f6 forward wise position of f is 6 now backward wise position for backward wise position of f subtract 6 from 27 21 you can cross check see backward wise f is 21 is this clear to everyone now again if you want to remember these pairs so i have developed some hints over here see first pair a z amazon boy crux dew even full gt road gt road grand trunk road okay then h s high school i r international relations p s i r okay or you can talk about like infrared i'm a science student so i associated this thing with infrared then jack and queen this is keep this is low and this is man right the funda is to write down n below m o below l p below k it is very important i hope this part is clear to everyone any problem over here no so okay if this is clear to everyone so i have a question and that question was there in your exam give me a second yeah solve this question first this question was there in 2022 read the question carefully and then try to understand their meaning d now you can sense the importance of writing numbers like that it's important okay now in this case what is happening if you read this question carefully then how to attempt it actually first of all just tell me is this question belongs to first category of problem c now in this case he has given you a given you a pattern he told you that the letters of uh, the alphabets has been reversed the letters has been reversed okay and each letter represent the letter whose position it occupies so basically what he is doing he is doing the reverse ranking backward wise ranking of letter what he is doing he is doing backward wise ranking of letter okay and then which one of the following is represent lucknow so see we want to find out code for lucknow code for lucknow so see lucknow l u c k n o w is this the spelling that examiner has used l u c k n o w right now he is using backward wise process backward wise funda so l should be replaced with u should be replaced with f 
right? C should be replaced with X, K should be replaced with P, N should be replaced with M, O should be replaced with, you can see, where is O? L, and finally W can be replaced with D. So, this is your answer. This is what examiner was telling us to do in that problem. Clear? Anybody having any problem? No. Can I erase it? Okay. Now, we can solve other problems of this step. Yeah. Try to solve this problem number one. The name of this type is alphabetically rank based and the most complex problem that can come under C set is from this type. How to utilize the rank now, I will tell you. What was the need of memorizing those, I will tell you. First of all, I want you to try this problem. It might possible that some of you can do this question like in just a fraction of a second, might possible. So, what do you think is the right choice? Anybody getting any answer? No, no issues, no issues. Option D, is that what you are saying? Okay, let us go with option D. Let us talk about it. How to attempt it under the real time situation? See, teacher, T E A C H. E R has been coded as B G C E J G T. Done? Now, first of all, tell me is this problem belongs to type 1? No, type 1. Condition for type 1 was every letter from the code, uh, original word must present in the coded word. No, this is not type 1. Second type direct replacement right now is there any hint now see like in this case again is there any hint that can that can justify with that this question belongs to type 2 yes a hint is present see e over here has been replaced with g e over here has been replaced with g it's a hint so it could be possible that this question belongs to type 2 right could be possible now if we go, if we use this pattern now, so T should be replaced with B, A should be replaced with C, C should be replaced with E, H with J and R with T. Now, let us utilize this pattern to find out the code of children. So, C must be replaced with, I do not know. If I want to utilize it, so C must be replaced with, oh sorry given, E. E, H must be replaced with? J. Now, check out. Now, next I must be replaced with, do I know anything? No. Right? Clumsiness. What about D? Any code for D that I know? No idea. Any code for R? R for T. Any code for E? C. Yeah, for E it is G and for N it is no idea. So, first letter of as per this pattern, first letter of my answer should be E, second should be J, right? Third, fourth, fifth should be T, fifth should be G. I have no idea about rest of the word, right? So, let us 
चेक इट आउट फर्स्ट लेटर इज ए सॉरी फर्स्ट लेटर इज ई सेकेंड लेटर इज जे थर्ड एंड फोर्थ आई डोंट नो देन फिफ्थ शुड बी फिफ्थ शुड बी आई सॉरी इट इज टी नॉट आर हैज बीन रिप्लेस्ड विद टी इट इज टी आर हैज बीन रिप्लेस्ड विद टी तो फिफ्थ लेटर शुड बी टी बट ओवर हियर फिफ्थ लेटर इज नॉट टी सो दिस इज नॉट योर चॉइस राइट नेक्स्ट वॉट अबाउट दिस वन अगेन नॉट माई चॉइस एज पर दिस पैटर्न आई डोंट नो रेस्ट फ्यू ऑफ दर्ड बट एज पर दिस पैटर्न सेकेंड इज नॉट माई चॉइस अगेन वॉट अबाउट दिस थर्ड वन फर्स्ट लेटर इज ई सेकेंड इज जे माई फिफ्थ लेटर शुड बी टी फिफ्थ लेटर ऑफ आंसर शुड बी टी गिव मी अ सेकेंड फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ Oh, I missed something. Sorry. So, I has been replaced with nothing. L has been replaced with nothing, and this D nothing, and this R with T. Sixth letter. Yes, sixth letter. So over here. Now same is the situation over here. Sixth letter. I want to be T. Sixth letter over here is not T. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not T. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not T. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not T. We are left with only one option. So we can answer this question with the help of direct replacement as well. But see, this is by chance we got the right answer. By chance, right? Now, if you feel like there is some kind of uh, ambiguity. then definitely you have to switch to the next type which is this alphabetical rank based so see teacher t e a c h e r has been coded as b g c e j g t now if you are very good with alphabets you can relate you can find out the link if you are not like i am very good with numbers so what i will do i will write their alphabetical positions first T is twenty. E is five. A is one. Three is T is three. H is eight. E is five. R is eighteen. We just memorize them. Okay. B is twenty-two. G is seven. C is three. E is five. J is ten. G is seven. T is twenty. Now I can relate numbers easily. See, twenty twenty-two plus two is going on. Twenty twenty-two plus two is going on. Five and seven plus two is going on. One and three plus two is going on. E three and five plus two is going on. So everywhere plus two is going on. I can relate numbers easily. That is why we have learned those positions. Got it? And those ranking will help you in the chapter of ranking sequence also. Right? So that is why the ranks were important. So pattern over here is plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two is going on everywhere. right so if we apply same pattern if we apply same pattern to children so my answer gonna be option d so we can answer this question through two technique the first one is little bit ambiguous the second one this one is the surety is this clear to everyone okay can i erase it Yeah, go for it. Throughout minus two, it is. But. good judgment because you paid attention to only first let is it like that my, i don't know my answer can be wrong as well don't worry we'll cross check might possible yeah this is what i was getting minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is what i'm getting right okay so everybody since see the original word is musical m u s i c 
a n has been coded as now do remember guys sometime what examiner do he will write the word musical but he will do the spelling mistake it happens so please pay attention to spelling of original words you have to find out the code for the original word that has been provided by the examiner it might possible that instead of s examiner will use c over here and still it is it sounds like musical right please keep this funda in your mind that is why i am paying attention to spelling okay so i fire a can be the answer so m u s i c a l this is the given word and k w q k a c j this is the code now my funda is always one like i am very good with numbers so i will convert i will write their alphabetical ranks first so m13 u21 s19 i9 c3 a1 l12 tell now right k w23 q17 k11 a1 c3 j is 10 now i will relate number rather than relating alphabet i will relate number so 13 and 11 minus 2 21 and 23 plus 2 19 and 17 minus 2 9 and 11 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 so plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 is going on so this is your pattern so uh, if you apply the same pattern then your answer should be option a is everyone getting option a or should i solve it for you everyone getting option a okay great i hope this thing is clear now again this is again a direct thing one to one relation over here again it might possible that only alphabetical ranks of letters are used and they are used in interchanged manner it can happen over here as well right so i hope this part is clear to everyone yeah that is like i have a question based upon that uh, as well so don't worry first of all this is one to one this is one to one relation so when i related the words one to one i was i was getting a pattern and when i applied this pattern to the uh, word given i was getting the answer present so this is perfectly fine no worry can i erase it now now see this has been done okay try this one this is again a pyq be little careful right code is given first then original letter is given to you code is given first then original letter is given to you right hope you got it ha huh? <laughs> yes class which option you are getting option a okay see listen first of all might ask the same either you can compare alphabets and you can remember those tricks to keep the positioning of the letters in your head right m is 13 u 21 m is 13 b 2 a 1 now please be very careful i told you to write down alphabets like that there was a reason because i have seen a lot of problems like that in c set okay see i is 1 i uh, this i is 9 a is 1 now l is 12 s is 19 j is 10 x is 24 v is 22 and c is 3 ha huh? 
Now, first task is to relate one to one. First task is to relate one to one. Okay. Now, m to l, m to l, it is minus one. U to s, it is twenty one. It is nineteen minus two. It is minus three. Now over here it is minus four. Right? How come minus four? I told you. See. Now. B from B minus one is A, minus two is Z, minus three is Y, minus four is X. Got it? Okay. So that is why this minus four is applicable over here. Next, from A to B it is minus five. A is one, B is twenty-two. How come minus five? Let me tell you. See, from A, from A, one backward is Z. Meaningly, from A minus one is Z. Minus two is Y. Minus three is X. Minus four is W. Minus five is B. What? And no, no, not this one. Yeah, this is your problem. So i to six, it is nine, it is three. So minus six, it is now. It's a pattern. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. We have to apply the same thing over here as well. So minus one, minus two. Minus three, minus four, and minus five. It is so. B minus one is C. E minus two is C again, right? L minus three is I. So C C I is present in option A and option D. So option B can be neglected. Option C can be neglected, right? H minus four. H is eight. Minus four is four. D. So I can see. Option A is the right choice. Now, sometimes we don't have to find out the whole code word. No, why to waste time? If I know the pattern is absolutely or utterly right, then I can use these kind of hints. I can neglect the options, right? So, option A is the right choice. Any problem, guys? Okay. So, I I hope you understood the importance of these ranking now, right? Yeah, go for it. Again, it's a PYQ. Yeah, the code is minus one plus one, minus one plus one, right? So D, B, let's check it out. Twice is yours. Now, how to attempt? It? How to attempt it? How we can save time over here? Listen, mathematics. M A T H E M A T I C S. Mathematics is the original word. Its code is L B S I D N Z U H D I. I'm very weak in relating alphabet, so I'll write down their forward wise ranking. M is thirteen A one T twenty H eight I E five M thirteen A one T twenty I nine C three S ninety. Yep. L twelve B two C nine S nineteen I nine D four N fourteen twenty six U twenty one H eight D four R eighty. Now I can cross check it. Thirteen to twelve. Minus one, one to two plus one, twenty to nineteen minus one, eight to nine plus one, four to five minus one, m to nine plus one. So minus one plus one is going on. Minus one plus one. See, a minus one is dead. Remember it, huh? Now 
आई टू नाइन माइनस वन सी टू डी प्लस वन एस टू आर माइनस वन सो आई कैन देर इज डोट नीड टू फाइंड आउट लाइक वन आई एम गेटिंग माइनस वन प्लस वन माइनस वन प्लस वन फोर फाइव लेटर देन देर इज नो नीड टू रिपीट फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट कैन बी सॉल्वेबल नाउ लिसन I want the code for chemistry. C H E M I S T R Y, right? Done. So C minus one B. My answer should begins with B. Does not stand out. C minus one is B, right? My answer should begin with B. Does not like neither option A is your answer nor option D is your answer. Afterwards, if I pay attention to option B and C, first letter is same, first second letter is same, third letter is same, last is same. There is difference in the fourth letter. So check out the fourth letter only. So minus one plus one minus one plus one. Fourth letter should be L. B is your answer. Clear? Any problem? There is no need to find out the code of every letter present. Once you know this is the pattern, we have justified it. Then we can apply it directly. Clear? Okay. Can I erase it? Okay. So if you can memorize those, so page पलटने से छुट्टी हो जाएगी, right? Paper में कब तक पलटोगे? And you don't have rough space, enough rough space in C set. Like, छोटा सा तो होता है। वहाँ पे तुमने calculation करना है या फिर ऐसा लिखता है, भर देना उसे। No, not possible ना। Okay, so I have a suggestion for you. What you can do? Use different types of different colored different colored pens. If it is allowed, use a green one, use a black one. Keep all the colors along with you. Keep a pencil along with you. Once do the rough work with pencil, then rough work with black pen, then rough work with red pen. You can differentiate. You can have some more space. Okay. Now I hope this part is clear to everyone. See. Now that is good. If you can handle that. But the but the thing is, अगर आप वैसा करोगे तो आपका speed नहीं बढ़ेगा। आपको बार-बार वो relate करना पड़ेगा, याद करना पड़ेगा। यहाँ पे तो minus one हुआ है। What if difference बहुत बड़ा हो? Like यहाँ m होता है and over here it was g. In that case, relation to find out things becomes little difficult. Okay, that is the only reason. That is why I have taught you some weird kind of Shortcut as well. So positioning is important not only for this chapter but a lot of other chapters as well. It might possible that there will be a, there was a question in aptitude last to last year I think last year or last to last year there was a question on aptitude based upon this positioning only and that was a question of aptitude plus plus arithmetic progression and reasoning. So this thing that I have told you is helpful in lot other thing. Okay. Now can I erase it now, guys? So the funda is we don't have to find out the code of every letter. Sometimes we can solve question through options as well. Okay. So let's talk about next. Please try this one now. See, before solving, please pay attention. I told you. It might possible that plus one and minus one is going one to one. It might possible that plus one and minus one is going between the original word and coded word one to one. There can be cases when minus one and plus one is going diagonally as well. There can be cases. Okay, keep this funda in your mind. So this type, type number three, is the most important and the very difficult type. That is why I am taking so much time. Very good. Plus five. I agree. 
I agreed. Okay, I agreed. Wonderful. But apply that pattern to this question and tell me the answer. This is what I am telling you guys. In this type, it is not that patterns will exist one to one only. Pattern can be diagonally as well. Diagonally, only two two letters. Pattern can be interchanged between two two letters. Everybody, please pay attention. Listen. See, I want the code of apple. A double P L E. Code for apple, right? Oh, sorry, apple is the original word and its code is F M Q Q B. Now, what should be the real way of attempting this problem? My first task. Check out. Is this question belongs to type one? Type one. Every letter of the original word should be present over here, not the type one. Is this question belongs to type two? Direct replacement. In direct replacement, I need link. Over here, P is replaced with M, and in the next, it is replaced with Q. Not a direct replacement, right? So obviously, not type one, not type two. So answer should. Like this question would belongs to type three now. Agreed, guys. Okay. Now, my task, like I am very weak in alphabet, so I'll write down their positioning. A is one, P is sixteen, P is sixteen, L is twelve, E is five, F is six, M is thirteen, Q is seventeen, Q is seventeen. Now I think I like you should not forget Q now. Q is seventeen, right? B is two. Clear? Okay. First task. One to one, one to six plus five, sixteen to thirteen minus three, sixteen to seventeen plus one, twelve to seventeen plus five, and e to b minus three. Actually, it's not a complete pattern. Although it looks like a pattern, but not a complete one. Why? That complete pattern. It will be a complete pattern if I if plus one was also present. Then plus five minus three plus one plus five minus three plus one. If plus one was also present, so I can go with this. Okay. Other than this, if like this is not bad at all. It can be. It can be the answer. Now, if I apply the same coding technique to train, then t plus five. It should be twenty five. Twenty five is y. My answer should begins with y. If this is the right. Then my answer should start with y. Not present. Yes. Remember this thing. I'm giving you all the different situation that could be there in the examination. We have started from the easiest one. Now, if one to one, if you are not getting anything by using one to one, now the next thing is to check out diagonal. Now, a to b, right? E to F, P to Q, and this L to Q. Oh, sorry. This L to M and this P to Q. Diagonally, A to B, P to Q, P to Q, L to M, and E to R. Or E to L. Let's try to find out is there any kind of pattern. So see, A is one, B is two plus one, right? P is sixteen, Q is seventeen plus one. Diagonally, P is sixteen, Q is seventeen plus one. L is twelve, M is thirteen plus one. M is sorry, E is five, F is six plus one. Plus one is going on diagonally, not one to one. Plus one is going on diagonally, not one to one. Got it? Now it could be one of the pattern. We have to justify by using uh, by Paying, uh, by applying this thing to question as well. Train T R A I N. So T minus one is S. My answer should ends with S. So option B cannot stand a chance. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. T is twenty and plus one is going on. So U plus one. Absolutely. So my answer should ends with U. So option B is present. <laughs> in only in option B, answer is present. But we have to justify it. I cannot leave it as it is. 
ओके जस्टिफाई लेट्स आर प्लस वन आर इज एटीन प्लस वन इज एस देन ए प्लस वन बी आई ए प्लस वन जे एंड फाइनली एन प्लस वन ओ तो ओ जे बी एस यू ओ जे बी एस यू इज माया राइट टी इन दी फर्स्ट टाइप आई टोल्ड यू ओनली टू टू लेटर्स कैन गेट इंटरचेंज देन होल ऑफ दी लेटर कैन गेट इन्वर्टेड एंड देन इट माइट पॉसिबल दैट अपर हाफ एंड लोअर हाफ हैज बिन इंटरचेंज सेम सिचुएशन कैन बी हियर ऑल्सो बट अलॉन्ग विद दिस पैटर्न वन टू वन Diagonally, upper half and lower half. It might possible. Is this clear to everyone? Can I erase it, everyone? Okay. Try this one now. Now this question is obviously type three because three letters are there and only two digits are there. It is not possible in type one and in type two. Not possible. So this is obviously type. Three. Okay, guys, listen. So one thing is clear. This is not type one. This is not type two. Obviously type three. So type three, I have to deal. See, alphabets were given, and your code is in the terms of numbers. So obviously, one thing is clear that examiner is doing something with the alphabetical positioning of these letters. Alphabetically, P is sixteen, U is twenty-one, and T is twenty. This is the situation when I talk their forward-wise ranking. when i talk about their forward wise rank okay now if i do 16 plus 21 plus 20 16 plus 21 16 10 30 37 37 and 20 57 so can i do something with these number to get 24 yeah now talk about their backward wise Forward bias P is sixteen, so obviously backward bias P has to be nine or seven or eight, eleven. How to find out backward bias position? P is sixteen, so twenty-seven minus sixteen, eleven. Backward bias P is eleven, right? Backward bias U is six and T is. Seven. Now add them. Eleven plus six plus seven. Eleven plus six plus seven is twenty-four. Now this is. We are not sure about it, but somehow we are getting something. We are getting something. Now let's apply this into rate. Rate R A T E. Backward wise rate. Forward wise rate is R is eighteen. Backward wise R is nine. Backward wise A is. 26. Backward wise T is 7 and E is 22. Add them. 9 plus 26 plus 7 plus 22. It is yes, 64 is present. So I can go with the sun. If there was more than one pattern possible, na, so either examiner will give you this kind of option. None of these. If more than one pattern will possible, so examiner will give you none of these options. Right? Yeah, data is sufficient option. But over here, he hasn't given, so it means this is the only pattern related to this particular problem. Is this clear to everyone? Any problem? Okay. Can I erase it? Okay. So let's talk about next problem. Let's see what was there in your exam. Yeah, solve this one. This problem is from one of the previous year exam. The letters from A to Z. See, I think I have discussed four to five previous year problems, and all the problems are dealing with the positioning of letter, whether it is backward wise or it is forward wise. Every every single question of C set is dealing with them. So kindly 
remember those positions. It might possible that next question that gonna appear in your exam will be based upon positioning of letters. Will be based upon ranking of letters. Highly possible. Okay. Yes, everybody, please pay attention. Listen. In this case, G H I has been coded as one five seven two. Hmm? Okay. Then def D E F D E F has been coded as nine one two. Now listen. Letters are numbered. It is given in the question itself. So alphabetically, G will be seven, H will be eight, I will be nine. Alphabetically, D will be four. E will be five and F will be six. Now, do the double of seven eighty nine. It is one five seven two eight. Right. So, see how to judge things. Either you can add. Just think. If you add seven, eight, and nine, you won't get a four-digit number in your answer. Try to think. If you add four plus five plus six, you won't get a three-digit number in your answer. So obviously, addition has to do nothing in this problem. Next thing, it was nine, and over here it was eight. So nine into two should be eight. Nine into two is eighteen. Now unit digit should be eight. So just check it. So seven eighty nine double of seven eighty nine is one seven one five seven eight and. Now, if this is the right logic, then this logic should be followed by the second question also, second number also, and it is following it. Double of four fifty six is nine one two. Now, tell me, guys, how you do double of four fifty six? How you gonna do it? Is it like six two the twelve two five the ten one two nine? Yeah, this is perfectly fine because two is a very small number, very easy thing, right? But rather than this, guys, see, four fifty six, four fifty six is four hundred fifty and six. So eight hundred hundred and twelve, nine hundred and twelve. Double of four hundred is eight hundred. Double of fifty is hundred. Double of six is twelve. Add them. This is the process that you should do in the mind, but. Like I'll tell you some more shortcut, but for now this is quite okay, quite okay. I'm not saying wrong, but quite okay. Okay. But uh, I hope this is clear to everyone. Now, so A B C, A B C, A is one, B is two, C is three. So double of one twenty three is two forty six. So this should be our answer. Two forty-six. So see, most of the question of C sets are from this type three. Majorly are based upon positioning or ranking of letters. So please, like mind, like please revise those tricks of positioning of letters. Or otherwise, you can remember E J O T or C P L O R X. Both are important. Okay. Can I erase this now? Okay. So. I think this is doable now. Give me a second. Yeah, just but try this one as well. This is doable now. Four digits are a uh, four. Uh, sorry, five letter word is given. Only two digits are present. Obviously, type three. Thirty-seven. Okay. Good. See, first thing, three digits were present, right? If you add those three digits, now your answer gonna be a two-digit number. But the code was a four-digit number. So you are generating a bigger number, and bigger number generation of bigger number is only possible when you are multiplying. It could be possible, but we are talking about C set. For C set, this is 
क्वाइट गुड थिंग आंसर टेन आंसर इज ए बी नॉट सी नॉट सी नो नो वॉट इज योर आंसर माइंड इज डिफरेंट एक्चुअली लेट चेक इट आउट नो शूज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव रिटर्न देयर अल्फाबेटिकल रैंक एंड आई वॉन्ट टू प्रोड्यूस सेवेंटी एट इट इज पॉसिबल सेवेंटी एट इज असन लिसन इट माइट पॉसिबल लेसन सेवेंटी एट इज अ टू डिजिट नंबर सो ऑब्वियसली आई डोंट नीड एनी काइंड ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन सेवेंटी एट इज अ स्मॉलर नंबर सो आई कैन जनरेट दिस स्मॉलर नंबर विद दी हेल्प ऑफ एडिशन ओनली राइट सो एड दैम फॉर्म सो नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी वन इज फोर्टी फोर्टी एंड सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड फाइव सिक्सटी वन एंड एटीन सेवेंटी नाइन बट ओवर हियर इट इज सेवेंटी एट so one thing that i can relate over here is 79 minus 1 is 78 i can go with this this is what i can do actually addition subtraction then multiplication and division let's if this is the okay pattern then let's try this over here as well 12 plus 1 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 Give me a second. Twelve plus one is thirteen. Thirteen and twenty is thirty-three, and thirty-three plus five is thirty-eight. Now, if I apply this logic, so thirty-eight minus one, thirty-seven could be the answer. Is it present? Yes. I can go with it. Done. Okay. I hope this is clear. Okay. Before jumping to next thing, do you know Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam is known as missile man? So, out of missile man and APJ, which is the known quantity to us? Which is the thing that we know? in the very beginning usually the name of a person that we know in the very beginning then he is famous by this name got it i'm telling you something it is very important listen carefully out of apj abdul kalam and missile man which comes first if we talk about history so obviously his name was apj abdul kalam in the when he, uh, in the childhood na throughout his life this is the name given by some person some intellectuals so this guy is known as this or this guy is this so we are going forward okay now do you know what is garrison what does garrison means what does garrison means garrison g a r r i s o n what does garrison mean ha huh? google it na you have smartphone ah good so garrison is actually an army inside the fort right inside the fort garrison or you can relate it but the, the thing is not this like i'm not telling you the exact meaning of garrison the point is the point is garrison is somewhat that we don't know but its meaning is known to us its meaning is known to us so in this case we we go backward actually yes or no from the meaning that is known to us we are going towards garrison is this clear any problem okay so there was a problem in your examination and this is your next time this is substitution based coding type number 4 in this type there will be two type of problem the first type of problem in which you will see phrases like known as called as is called or is right 
so in this case you will move only one step forward just try to remember the example that i just discussed one step forward from reality the meaning of known as is to go forward clear and sometime you will see this word as well means in case of means you move backward from reality the things that we know to the things that we don't know is this clear to everyone okay now please read this question carefully and try to answer ha huh? why right. oh good now listen so like i have seen those who don't know these two things na don't know the meaning of known as and cold as they will answer something different right it i have seen student jo aisa karte hain ki sir leaves ka to rang hara hai white to ho hi nahi sakta it not possible at all i have seen student so see i have told you in the very beginning of this class that we have to find out the pattern of the examiner not us it's not like that you are wrong you are correct hara hi hota hai patton ka rang but at the same time we have to find out the pattern of the examiner so obviously is called is present over here is called is present so we will go one step forward from reality see what is the color of leaves of the most of the plants so reality over here is green reality over here is green right so we will go one step forward from green so see one step forward from green is white why we are going forward because is called is present hence answer is white clear everybody now why to choose this green why not this green yeah because there is nothing after this green this sentence is over how i can go after the end there is nothing after this green so i said in this cases we have to go one step forward so one step forward from reality is possible for this case only right i hope the answer is white this is clear to everyone okay now if this is clear next is this one what should be the answer now question is almost same there is no need to write these question guys you can just write down the answer or whatever comes to your mind now please pay attention means over here the word is mean answer over here gonna be gonna be blue not white right why because the phrase means is used over here and the dictionary meaning of means is we we go like in case of means we go we know the known quantity and from the known to unknown we go from the known to unknown now in this case what is the color of the leaves of the most of the plant so color of the leaves of the most of the plant reality over here is green right since the phrase means is present so what we will do we will go one step backward from green so one step backward from green is possible in this case so from here if you go one step backward your answer is blue so answer over here is blue in the previous case it is white can i erase this now guys i hope the difference between means and non as is clear right it is important in the previous case it is is called written written over here it is written called as if it is written non as cold as and is cold we go will go one step forward so over here green is the reality from green if we go one step forward our answer is white done okay so i hope this part is clear to everyone now let's talk about the last type that was there in your examination and this is the last one okay this is called message deciphering message deciphering right the easiest one again the easiest one how to attempt it see 
in certain code language 481 this is the first first line 481 is written as sky is blue right now by chance examiner has written the right thing over here appearance wise sky is blue but he can write red as well right yeah so blue then next is 246 246 means c is deep and is there any other yeah one more is present third is 698 yeah, I think A is the right price. 690. Okay. Answer is option C. This is what you are saying. Okay, great. So, C looks blue. Okay. I hope most of you have done it. So, it is wonderful. But still, I just want to discuss few more things that could be there in your examination. So, first thing is just relate statement 1 with statement 2. Is there anything common? Over here, 4 is common. In statement 1 and statement 2, 4 is common, right? 8 is not common, 1 is not common. On the other side, on the other side, between statement 1 and statement 2, is is common right it means it means code for 4 is is now next if i compare 1 with 3 i can see 8 is common i can see 8 is common right and on the other side if i compare this first and third then i can say the word blue is common the word blue is common and we want the code for blue hence 8 is the code for blue the now what is the code for 1 1 in this question 1 is the digit used for which word yes because 4 has been utilized already, 8 has been utilized already, so we are left with 1 only. On the other side, is has been utilized, blue has been utilized, so obviously 1 and sky are related to each other, 1 is the code for sky. And in these cases, order of word does not matter, they can appear in any, any order, they can appear in any order, similarly. Okay. You can compare this second and third and you can find out why the 6 has been used. So, see, C is common in this second and in this third. So, code for 6 has been use, used for C. Is this clear to everyone, guys? Any problem, class? This side? Yeah. No? Okay. Can I erase it? A similar kind of problem was there in your examination. Uh, I do not remember the problem, but yeah, try this one now. I want to discuss two more problem after it, two more problems after it and that will be it for the day. Again the funda is same. First statement is Tum Kun Stud has been written as dogs are barking. The second one is Kun Jo Mo has been written as dogs and horses. The third one is Mutt Tom Co has been written as donkeys are mad. 
वी वॉन्ट दी कोड फॉर बार्किंग ओके सो वी वॉन्ट कोड फॉर बार्किंग सो चेक आउट वेयर बार्किंग इज प्रेजेंट बार्किंग इज प्रेजेंट इन द स्टेटमेंट वन नो इज देर एनी अदर स्टेटमेंट वेयर बार्किंग इज प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो नो so if you want to find out code of barking then we have to find out code of dogs and r in this particular case it is not possible to find out code of barking directly we have to find it indirectly so dogs dogs are common in the first statement and in the second statement on the other side on the other side kun is present kun is common so i can say kun has been used for dogs okay other next thing r is present in the first statement and in the third statement on the other side tom or tom whatever you want to say tom is present in the first and third it means code for r is so now we know the code of dogs we know the code of r we are left with barking on the other side we know why to, uh, term has been used why kun has been used so obviously could should be the code for barking any doubt guys okay now can i erase it that everybody like i have two more problems to discuss give me a second yeah this one type category 3 is very important so that is why i want to discuss one more problem from here not this one yeah this one please try this problem it's category 3 right i think the only problem where you can face how to differentiate the only problem that you when when you want to like differentiate between types i think type 4 and type 5 are easily distinguishable right the problem is in type 1 2 and 3 so i have given you a technique how to differentiate problems of those types okay guys let's solve this question together everybody first thing addition e d i t i o n right addition has been written as j e f t m n h do we have something else no listen first of all what i'll do i'll i'll write down their alphabetical position i am damn sure this is not type 1 because every letter of the original word is not present in the coded word second thing is direct coding na direct replacement so e is replaced with g i don't have any link which proves me that this is direct coding or direct replacement obviously type 3 so type 3 e is 5 d is 4 i is 9 T is twenty, I is nine, O is fifteen, N is fourteen. On the other side, J is ten, E is five, F is six, T is twenty, M is thirteen, N is fourteen, and H is eight. Right? I told you, link can be established one to one. Link can be established diagonally. Right? And link can be established by dividing a problem into two halves. So in this case, your problem has been divided into two halves. See how, like this, right? Now please pay attention to upper half. Upper half in the upper half plus one is going on diagonally. In the upper half plus one is going on diagonally. In between, nothing is there, and in the lower half, minus one is going on. diagonally so see three variations are there 
whether you talk about type 1 or you talk about type 3 first variation one to one relation second variation interchanging of two two letters third variation is whole of the letter has been inverted and the fourth one is division into two half if you apply this pattern what are you going to get what is your answer for this question yes b f u c q d g b f u c q d g yes this is your choice done okay and uh, the one last question can i erase it option b answer was option b yeah this one solve only one question question number 23 this is your message deciphering the only thing over here is the difficulty level is little bit higher okay so for your convenience i have just written this thing in the statement format for you right one two three four statement format all the information given over here has been written over here also so i want you to solve this question number 23 only option d is the right choice zo or ra right so if there is any kind of ambiguity na so examiner will give you these kind of options data insufficient either option a or option b if more than one possibilities are there either option a or option b like this huh okay let's talk about this problem we want the code for phase we want the code for phase and i can see phase is present only in first statement is there any other statement where phase is present no so it means if i want to find out code for phase so we have to find out like i cannot find out code of phase directly over here so we have to find it out indirectly so for indirectly let's find out code for global first so global is present in the first statement and in the second statement so in the third statement is is there anything else which is common in first and three recession no is no critical no so in first and three global is present and on the other side on the other side it is present so it means code for global is it now let's talk about recession recession is present in statement 1 and recession is present in statement 2 is anything is any other word which is common in 1 and 2 no so on the other side on the other side more is present in 1 and more is present in second so obviously code for recession is more okay now next is is present only in statement 1 is this not present in 2 not in 3 not in 4 not in 5 so i can keep is as it is what about critical critical is present in statement 1 and critical is present in statement 5 so on the other side 2 is present in statement 1 and 2 is present in statement 3 so obviously the code for critical is 2 now by any chance it is not possible to find out code of is it is not possible to find out code of phase so for is or fail any one of jo and ra can come any one of jo or ra can come but not both simultaneously means if somehow you got that is code for is this jo so obviously code for phase will become ra if you got some more hint otherwise code for is can be jo or ra and code for phase can be any of jo and ra so answer over here is option d we cannot find it out with 100 percent guarantee is this clear guys so this is it from the coding and decoding so we have discussed all the different kind of variation that were there in your examination and the variation that you can expect so this is it from the my side thank you so much have a nice day thank you